Greetings, Scrapture here, Raid Shadow Legends, free to play, and today we are back on uh, the experimental account, so Force. Uh, we are using only Force champions here. Uh, day 12, got Void Shard, but it's useless, so whatever. Okay, so a lot of thing happening uh, here, so um, let's briefly uh, show my champs. So got outband so i bought uh, masteries for him so now he got uh, war master so he, he can smack a little bit harder uh, we got uh, support masteries uh, for the debuffer so more accuracy uh, debuff extensions etc uh, he's still not uh, mm, ascended yet because um, i'm farming right now uh, red pots so, work in progress. Um, what else? We, we also get a little bit uh, regearing for Adeline. So, I managed to equip her with uh, Regen set. So, 15% each turn uh, heal. And some speed gear, but without any craziness. So, 3 star boots, whatever. Um, yes, yeah, so this duo is pretty good. And both of them, they are Banner Lords. So, I managed today to do some uh, a little bit progress in faction wars and I even managed to be the first boss which is amazing but generally you can expect that uh, having a six star champion um, sh should be much easier so that was my team composition so generally three champs that they can stay alive and deal with boss um, yeah so I will not present this one, but I will show you uh, what uh, I managed to do with this duo uh, here in the campaign. So normal, uh, haven't touched a lot uh, in terms of progress stars, but uh, we'll do this in meanwhile. But uh, there is no reward that I'm looking for, only some bruise here. Uh, but on the hard uh, difficulty, I managed to go through whole campaign uh, and free star it so I'm missing only three stars uh, to, to complete uh, this stage but I'm stuck here uh, unfortunately on the uh, last stage of uh, brimstone path so let's quickly take a look at what's going on so let me start this one so other line is pretty fast 170 speed uh, that's what I can uh, do for now. Uh, Outbound is a little bit slow. Yeah, but uh, he's really tanky. Uh, what is good, what I found, so the, this heal from other line is, is pretty nice. 25% uh, of her HP, as I remember. So if I build her enough uh, tanky with a lot of HP, so she will be able to heal uh, my whole team generally mm, so for now this is on four turn cooldown uh, this heal but uh, can be uh, reduced to three turns after uh, booking her skills yeah so as you see she's pretty tanky and all bond is doing his job so and that's the tricky part both of them i mean both of them uh, the enemies are mm, spirit so a lot of weak hits we will see yeah and they are strong again so to, to free start this stage we need to have free uh we need to um, do this perfectly without losing anyone and yeah that's not possible <laughs> so i tried a little, few times and yeah he's hitting a little bit too hard and i'm too slow some resistance also is working here but yeah for now this is waste of energy with trying I, I could bring full team to push to uh, ha um, brutal yeah but yeah this is doable but i would like to uh, finish this on three stars to get this sacred to be prepared for next maybe um, progressive chance for for some uh, force epics so that will be the plan I will need to think how, how to deal with this uh, boss so maybe let's switch to normal and do the same because anyway I need to do that so here we'll have 
uh, much lower requirements. So this fight should be much easier. Hopefully. <laughs> so they are. So Ad Adeline, um, Adeline, 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 uh, Aura is pretty good. So this uh, accuracy for in all battles uh, boost, I think 60 or 80, something like that. So th that's very good uh, Aura for the beginning. So this can be very useful champ uh, for new accounts, as I see. Okay, so the question is, can we survive more to mock up hits? Okay, so decrease attack. Okay, so far, easy. Okay, yeah, so this is matter of stats, so probably if I will 6-star Adeline, it will be much easier, but, you know, 6-starring six, six champi, this is a lot of energy and resources. Okay, so, yeah, so this uh, duo ca can do, handle this, which is good, but I need to uh, do more work on that. Okay, so what's going on? Um, yet yeah, in Tavern, Ascent, uh, Potions, so I'm farming the, those. So far got some um, potions, so we're working on ascensions and I'm farming currently stage 12. Uh, 13 I managed to clear once, but uh, yeah, that's and that's all. <laughs> uh, boss is hitting a little bit too hard. So this run is also pretty safe and i introducing here new uh, champ that I Good. Uh, so this is um, Bo Boatsmith. Yeah, uh, I think that that's the correct name. So let's take a look uh, and his uh, him in action here. So yeah. So increase accuracy plus uh, uh, team up uh, ally attack with random one ally, which is okay. And, and second, that was A2, so uh, attack all enemies and place a smaller version of decreased speed. Which is also not, not bad, I'd say. It's better than nothing. Uh, so from the debuff point of view, so in this squad I will have uh, from other line big decrease uh, speed and decrease attack. Decrease attack from outbound and uh, small decrease speed from uh, Smith. Smith also is pl placing this uh, small version of uh, increased accuracy, which is also not bad. Um, yeah, it's rare, so you cannot have everything on the rare. Um, and he's very tanky, I would say. Uh, I was looking at his uh, stats and yeah, I was surprised uh, with his defense, especially. So when the fight will be done, uh, we can take a look uh, to the index and compare uh, with other champs. Yeah, um, I'm still thinking about Mordecai. It's a little bit useless uh, with what I'm planning to do. Maybe not totally useless, but um, at this stage, yeah, it's not great. Okay, so this is taking some time, unfortunately. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so w what else do we see here? Um, yeah, a lot of debuffs. So. Luckily, we got this uh, aura, which is helping a lot to put those uh, debuffs. And this is helpful. Okay, and we are done. Wow, over two minutes. Yeah, the, that, that's a little bit average uh, of this run. Okay, so we got an, another pot potion. That's great. So that's what's going on here. Okay, so let's back uh, to my champs. So let's take a look to the force champions, right? Um, 
so that's my collection I'm sure if i got anything in the reserve probably some food yeah uh, so maybe let's 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 uh, focus on those three categories uh yeah okay so we got uh, i marked a few of them uh, with some special tag uh defense one so this one right so both smith uh, flanan yeah uh so his defense is already based on on level 40 700 which is a lot um in comparison to 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 for example mordecai uh, 400 here um acolyte he got less even yeah so his final defense is pretty high so 13 and half uh, hundred uh, of defense v very nice and all of his skills based on defense so i, I think that's that's potential um, material for good uh, champion for five or even six star that, that's what i'm thinking not sure what will be the order uh, so far but yeah um that's the candidate uh what else yeah so for sure acolyte uh he's not uh geared yet um and i've got two new uh, rares uh, that could be useful so i managed to farm uh war maiden from the campaign and i got anointed um this one is also interesting uh support um, from barbarians uh, also not bad uh, defense we can quickly check um, barbarians let's check yeah so almost 1200 uh, defense so another tanky champ and so let's take a look to the to his skills so a1 free hitter okay we got two hit uh, um, two hitter on a2 with stealing one buff, whatever, and filling turmeter and placing increased crit rate. Okay, so by 30%, which is the, the bigger version. Which means uh, what I could do, it looks like a very interesting um, composition that I could use uh, for one specific dungeon, and this looks like this will be Fire Knight. Because we got uh, um, two hitter here on A1 for the Flanan. Uh, we got decreased speed, but uh, from also from other line, this big version here, very important. Um, yeah, this one uh, then uh, team up with random allies, so so he will attack with uh, A1 plus someone else. If I will bring, for example, uh, an knowing that then free hitter right so potentially that's a lot of hits uh, to bring down the shield um, I'm thinking about acolyte um, sure if that that's good choice but uh, he's also pretty tanky uh, he will be able to survive a little bit longer um, so feeling two meter and here I got a decreased two meter by 50% uh, four turn cooldown, which not bad, not the great. Here we got remove all debuffs. So um, Fire Knight is placing uh, decreased speed, as I remember. So this could be useful to remove that decreased speed. Um, yeah. So the composition will look like. Uh, let me use this stack. Defense. Yeah. So that could be the uh, composition. So uh, Adel Adeline. Uh, as a lead yeah and, and those uh, five champs um yes yeah, so potentially so let's quickly check so one hit here one here here we got uh, using this one it will be uh, two plus uh, something <laughs> probably one let's see three hitter and uh, three hits here one hit here and okay so outbound uh, i forgot about his a3 so his a3 is four hitter 
so it will be very easy to just uh, break down the, 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 the shield from Fire Knight. Yeah, so that, that looks like very good composition. We got some healing, we got accuracy, uh, we got required debuffs, so we got uh, decreased attack, decreased speed, turn meter fields, some cl clearing, decreased uh, um, turn meter. I think uh, his A1 is also decreasing turn meter. Yes, uh, so if uh, the target is under decreased speed, uh, placed by, by this champion, okay, so that's tricky. Uh, will decrease the turn meter by 10%. Yeah, in interesting stuff. Okay, so that, that's what, what I already found. It can be useful. And yes, yeah, so let's quickly take a look to, to um, Fire Knight. Uh, so we will, what we will get here. Um, Shield could be useful, uh, but for sure regeneration. Regeneration is so big, uh, so big, and yeah, having at least few tanky champions with regeneration that can stay uh, alive. Yeah, so probably that will be the strategy, just to uh, build very tanky and um, he healing themselves team. Hmm. Yeah, so that, that that's what I see here, uh, what currently I have. Um, and maybe uh, once again, let's quickly check uh, which stage uh, proper uh, we could uh, aim to farm. So we are looking for blue stages, right? So 11 and then 15. Yeah, maybe 16. Yeah, that, that's a lot <laughs> of stats uh, to, to go there, but uh, six star gear is here, so 13. 13 will be a good spot. So, as I remember on the Dragon M9, okay? So, probably similar thing on 9. Yeah, so that will be here. So, 7. 7 should be easy, and this is magic. So I could start with seven. Pretty should be pretty easy. This is a level forty, but if I will break to eleven, so no more uh, free star gear. Yeah, so that this looks better. Yeah, so that I think will be my aim. But before that, yeah, I need to first farm a little bit more potions. And uh, yeah, give the um, ascend those champions, and I think at least uh, give them uh, five star uh, rank. Yeah. So how many do I need? Um, yeah. So three more, three more, F three more five stars, and we can uh, try to farm uh, Fire Knight. Yeah. So that will be the plan. I think. If you agree or not, uh, please let me know in the comments. Um, maybe you see some other options. Yeah, please let me know and stay tuned to see more in the future. Cheers!